طيب today إن شاء الله we are going to talk about energy transformation and transfer. What is the difference? You have to know that there is a big difference or a difference between this word and this word. طيب yesterday or in the previous lessons we were talking about how energy change from one form to another. Okay. In these previous in the previous can I say what I think about the difference between Yalla, wait, transfer? Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I will. Okay, in the previous classes, we were talking about how energy changes form from one form to another. Today, we will learn about the difference between transformation and the transform. Yalla, Al Ali, what is the difference? I think transfer is to be from from kinetic energy to potential, or but transformation is to go from one place to another. Uh, no, the opposite. Okay, when energy, look. Uh, when energy change, when when any form of energy, when any, please listen to me, when any form of energy changes to another form, okay, what we call this, It is called transformation. Okay, fine. Example, when chemical energy in the food changes to heat energy or to kinetic, this is called a transformation. When potential energy changes to kinetic, it's in transformation. Yani it's not only between kinetic and potential. When any form of energy changes to another form, this process is called transformation. But let it stand away. When energy, when energy moves, okay, from one object to another, okay, when energy moves from one object to another, it is called, we call this transfer. Okay, so when you transfer something, when something transfers, it moves from one place to another. Or from when energy transfers, it means it moves from one object to another. So energy transfer. <coughs> you flip the form. Nah. You want to write form, not form. In the first, before equal. Ah, when energy, when any form of energy changes to another, ah, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Get it, Shabab? Yeah. Bye. So, again? by the way, yani sometimes, yani energy transformation, this is the meaning of energy transformation. When energy, when any form of energy changes to another form, for example, when potential energy change to kinetic, when chemical energy change, chemical energy changes to kinetic energy, and so on. Any form of energy can, by the way, change to another form. This is called transformation. By the way, energy transformation happens every, every time. Okay? Also, energy can move sometimes, can move from one object to another. This is called energy transfer. So when anything, by the way, this word transfer means move from place to place. When any object transfers, that means it moves from place to place. When energy transfers, that means it moves from one object to another. But sometimes this, these two things happens at the same time, okay? Sometimes energy change from one form to another and move from one object to another. Bye. So, energy transformation and transfer. Energy transformation and energy transfer sometimes occur in the same process at the same time, but they are not the same. I like this. They are not the same thing. Yes, they can happen at the same time. Yes, they can happen at the same process, but they are not the same thing. Bye. 
what again what is energy transformation occurs when one form of energy changes to another شباب is it clear شو رايكم سهله ولا سهله يس سو انرجي ترانسفورميشن انرجي ترانسفورميشن اكرز وين ون فورم اوف انرجي تشينجز انتو انذر طيب ذا بوتنشال ذيس از ان اكزامبل ذا بوتنشال انرجي اوف ا بندوليوم ان ذيس فور اكزامبل ان ذيس سبيكر امبارح كان على البندوليوم ذيس از ا بندوليوم هذا هو اوكي ان ذيس اكزامبل The in potential energy of a pendulum, such as wrecking ball, the wrecking ball transforms into kinetic energy as it falls due to the force of gravity. Yani, for example, at this moment now, this pendulum has potential energy. When it releases, when it moves, okay, this potential energy transforms to kinetic energy, okay? There are a lot of examples for energy transformation. Type, I will give you another example. When you burn a fuel. Another dirt? Another dirt is there? Oh, I can transfer. Type. Example of energy transformation. When we you burn a fuel. What type of energy is stored in fuel? Do you know? Like gasoline, diesel, fossil fuels. Do you know what a karam? Chemical. Uh, chemical? Yes. Chemical energy. Chemical energy is stored in the fuel. When we burn, when we burn a fuel, this chemical energy transforms. Halas. Starting from today, you should not use the word change. We should use a transform. Chemical energy transforms when you burn fuel transforms to heat and light. Chemical energy in the fuel when you burn it changes to heat. And light. You can use this heat to, for example, to heat water in coal power plants. What happens in coal power plants? I want to tell you. They use coal. Coal is a fuel. They burn it. Burning of coal releases heat. This heat is used to heat water. When water heats, they change, they change it to steam. This steam turns a turbine. A turbine change uh, change the uh, this turbine uh, the electrical in the kinetic energy of the turbine changes into electrical energy type another example we can use turbines okay how can we generate electricity from wind look how do people generate electricity from wind wind as you know is moving as you know is a moving is in motion. Always, when we say wind, wind is in motion. So what type of energy kinetic. in the wind, since it's moving? It's kinetic energy. Kinetic. So we can use turbines, this kinetic energy of the wind, to move these turbines. When these turbines move, we can transform the kinetic energy of the wind to what? to electrical energy. طيب. Another example of en energy transformation, the electromagnetic radiation. I will abbreviate it as EM. The EM. electromagnetic radiation from the sun is transformed by plants to what? Yalla. Transformed by plants to what? من مرة أنتو نايمين. To chemical energy. To sugar. In photosynthesis, plants use sunlight or electromagnetic radiation from the sun. They transform 
in their leaves this electromagnetic radiation into chemical energy that is stored in the sugar, in the, in, in the plant materials. Right. So energy transformation, there are a lot of examples of energy transformation. Always energy can change from one form to another. This is called energy transformation. Energy transformation occurs when one form of energy changes into another. The example, the potential energy of adenium, such as in the figure, transforms into kinetic energy as it falls to, due to the force of gravity. Okay. What is energy transfer? Energy transfer takes place or occurs when energy moves from one object to another. Okay. Example of energy transfer. Look here. This is the sun. Okay. And this is the Earth. Electromagnetic radiation comes to Earth by, as you know, by uh, uh, electromagnetic radiation goes to the Earth by not conduction and not convection by radiation. In this case, energy transfers. This is an example of energy transfers. When it moves from one place to another, from one object to another, energy can be can, transfers in three ways conduction conviction and radiation <laughs> now, now I'm <laughs> electromagnetic radiation uh, uh, <laughs> now. <laughs> electromagnetic radiation uh, because it moves to earth by radiation and i'm karam oh so i wonder is oh, the atmosphere taking up space what is the atmosphere taking up space Transfer what? No, it's the it's the atmosphere is the taking up space. Allah shway, ma'alish li karam yaki again karam. Do you know the atmosphere, right? Okay. Does it take up space? Atmosphere, yes, because atmosphere is made up of gases, and these gases have a mass, and they they are matter. Atmosphere is matter; it takes up space. Okay, so when there's a, no, like no, 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 do you mean that the atmosphere is part of the space? No, I mean, does it take up space? Yes, it life? has a volume and mass because it's a mixture of gases. Okay, then does uh, when طلع, there's karam, anything, any matter, anything that has mass and takes up space is matter. You takes up space and has mass. So you are, you is matter. Me and you are matter. Everything around us yeah. is matter. Anything that has mass and takes up space is matter. Except yeah, light and sound. Light is a form of energy. Sound is a form of energy. They are not matter because they do not have mass. And they do not take takes up space. They do not take space. Okay. Yes. Anything that takes so, up space is matter. Is it clear? No, I have another question. Okay. Something else. طيب. You know when the rocket launches and when it goes up into into space, there's parts that break off. Next question. Is the إذا إيش again? Does the atmosphere stop the the particles that flew from the spaceship or not? ممكن توضح سؤالك أكثر أفكر أنا شو مش سامع كويس. يعني do you do you mean that the space the atmosphere blocks things that come to air? No, you know how that you know how to launch rocket ship to the moon. Okay. It has to be launched out of the atmosphere. يعني قصد الاتموسفير بنشق يعني استاذ قصد الاتموسفير بنشق وبعدين بيطلع الاشي. No, no, it's 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 air. يعني atmosphere means air. So يعني it's not something that is solid. مش هيك قصده هو؟ آه. It's Could not... the atmosphere stop flying parts coming from space? Okay. Uh, flying yeah. uh, uh, good, good. 
I, I, I get it, get it. Atmosphere yeah, sure. has a limit. Yani, for example, I don't remember, I think it is uh, up to 600 kilometers up. All the air, look, this is the earth. Atmosphere is part of the earth. It extends from the surface of the air to what? Up to 600 kilometers or more. As you go up in the air, there are uh, less of air particles. Yani, for example, the amount of oxygen, oxygen, nitrogen, and other gases uh, close to the ground are more than the particles of air here. As you go from the air surface up, there is atmosphere up to 600 kilometers above, which is very, very long or very high. After this, there is a space. Here, there's no gravity. Could the atmosphere stop flying solids from coming at it? يعني بوقفوا يا أستاذ يعني مثلاً طيارة كانت تطلع الفضاء. آه. بالاتموسفير يعني بوقف الطيارة. آه أوكي. الآن for example look here. Uh, this is Earth. This is the Moon. Okay. Uh, this uh, for example this is the Sun. Now there is the atmosphere has a limit. Okay. After this, there is space. Here, there is no gravity. There is no effect for the atmosphere. If you, if we use a, a spacecraft to go to the, for example, to the moon. Okay. For here, there is a force of gravity. Okay, after this, there is no effect for the atmosphere. There is no effect for the gravity. Get so, I have a question, Ustaz. Okay, let's go ahead. Yes, please. When I go to the ground, I'm going to get to the atmosphere. No. Okay, what do you mean, Ustaz? Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Now, we are part of the atmosphere because the atmosphere is on the ground and also it extends very, very high in that. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Just please, Bala, wait a minute.
Are you guys okay or what? Wait, wait. I'm uh, wait just a minute, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, طيب سان شوي. I want to share the screen now. Uh, can you see this? Yeah. Can you read? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The Earth's atmosphere stretches from the surface to the planet up as far as 10,000 kilometers. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to okay. So again, Earth's atmosphere stretches or starts from the surface. Yani now we are in the atmosphere to what? As far 10,000 kilometers, which is very, very high. After that, the atmosphere what? Blends into space. Okay? يعني أنت لما تكون على الجبل يا ليث أنت لسه أنت أنا كان سؤالي أنا كان سؤالي إذا طلعت على جبل إيفرست بيكونش في هواء حتى even even the Everest it is أيوة 3000 kilometers I think طيب حتى لا إذا بنات بطير بصير بطير بالفضاء بعدين طيب أوكي سو Uh, again, energy transfer takes place when energy moves from one object to another. Get it? Shabab, others? Yeah. When the wrecking ball hits the boy. Okay, example of energy transfer. When this ball, ball, this ball, when it is moving and hits the wall, in a kinetic energy or some of the energy in the, of this ball transfer to this wall. Okay, again, when this object hits the wall, the kinetic or part of this energy, part of the pole's energy transfer to the wall. When you hit another example, when you kick a ball, okay? When you kick a ball, some of the energy of your, of you, of your body energy, some of your energy will move to the ball and cause the, this ball to move. Okay, so again, energy transfer takes place when energy moves from one object to another. When the wrecking ball hits the wall, some of the kinetic energy of the ball transfers to the wall, causing the wall to fall over. Okay, as the wrecking ball swings, energy is also transferred from the ball to the air due to the force of a friction. So, in this case, energy transfers, but it is also transformed. Look, yani energy transfer and the transformation can happen at the same time, at the same place. When the ball, the ball hits the air, some of its energy trans transfers to the wall, to the air, and also it is transformed because of the force friction. Time. Some of the mechanical energy of the moving wreck ball, wrecking ball is transferred and transformed into thermal energy of the surrounding air. Type. Look here. Whenever a moving object experiences a friction, some of its mechanical energy is transformed into thermal energy. Do you know what is friction? Fuel friction. Yes. Arashid. Friction is when two surfaces surfaces um, yes yeah. uh, go on each other like one okay. over each other or uh... thank you look here please when you rub your hands when you rub your hands there is a friction between your your hands yeah. this is a force friction it's a force friction okay is a force. Excellent. Between the surfaces is a force, is a contact force. What is the meaning of contact? That the two objects are touching is a contact force between the surfaces of two objects. Okay. And this force is always to the opposite 
direction of motion. Opposite direction of motion. Look, I will give you another example. When you drive a bike, your bike, okay? Look at the tires of the, there is a force of friction between what? The tire and the ground. Excellent. The friction happens between, the friction in this case happens between the tires of the bike and the ground. Tire. Excellent, thank you. Uh, by the way, in this case, in the example of the bike, okay, in the example of the bike, okay, this is, for example, the tire of the bike, okay? Suppose that this is the tire of the bike, and this is the ground. Here, the force of friction acts between these, the surfaces of these objects, the tire and the ground. Now, if the tire or the bike is moving to this direction, the force of a friction will move to this. They are always, the force of a friction is always opposite to the direction of motion. Tire. Also, there is a friction between عشان هيك لما انا امشي لقدام وابطل ابدل بالبسكليت بتخف سرعتي yes of course i want to tell you something thank you late something important that rough surfaces okay you don't have friction you don't have friction no rough surfaces exert more or less friction more more friction than more the surfaces are to scrub than like smooth to... surfaces. Oh, rough. Oh, does this smooth? Yes, rough surfaces exert more friction than smooth surfaces. Type. There is also a type of friction in air or water. In air or water, there is also a friction. For example, a flying bear. Flying bear. There is a friction between its body and the air. It is called air resistance. Okay. There is a friction between the flying bird, the, uh, the flying bird and the air. There is a force of a friction between the flying bird and the air. It's called air resistance, but air resistance is less, is much less, or is less, is, uh, uh, is less than the friction on the ground. Also, when you are swimming, there is a friction between water and your body, but it is also smaller than the friction between objects on the ground. Ayo karam. Does friction also de depend, like there's water and I'm riding a bike. If the water has a high viscosity, will it be harder for me to move with my bike? Notice that, Karam, all water, all water has low viscosity. Do you know? Do you remember? Of course, honey, for example. Oh, yes. Honey, honey is yeah. A liquid. Honey. It is more viscous than water, so it has more friction. Thank you. Yani, suppose that you are swimming in a pool of honey. It's very difficult. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Friction, by the way. Friction keeps cars from accidents. Okay? Because it slows cars, but and for this reason, when there is a snow on roads or on highways. It can cause accidents. Oh. Do you know why? Because when there, is, where when there is a lot of snow on the road, that means we have less friction. So, uh, it uh, the, when there is less friction, this will cause a sliding, which cause accidents. So little mm -hmm. friction, friction. Yes, it's slow. Okay, friction. 
slows objects. It is a small amount of friction is good, but if there is a lot of friction, it's not good. Because as you know, which is harder for you to ride your bike on a road or in a street or in a muddy? Yeah, on a street. For example, in mud, it's very hard for you to move on mud because there is a lot of friction, okay? So friction is good if there is a little amount of friction, but if there is a lot of amount of friction, no. Again, back to the example. So يعني, in this case, energy transfers, but is also transformed. Some of the mechanical energy of the moving wrecking ball is transferred and transformed into thermal energy of the surrounding air. So whenever a moving object experiences friction, as we as I told you, any moving object, any moving object experiences a friction, even this object moving in air, water, or on the ground. Some of its mechanical energy is transformed into thermal energy. Right. Now, uh, inshallah, tomorrow we will talk about this, uh, the law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation, as there is law of conservation of matter, there is law of conservation of energy. What is the meaning of law of conservation of energy? That whenever, look, when energy move, or, uh, sorry, transfers or transforms, when energy transforms from one form to another, it, the total amount, the total amount of energy stays the same. The total energy of the total energy is stay the same. Or you can say that energy is never created or destroyed. Energy is never created or destroyed. Exactly. Matter, yes. matter. What is the meaning of this? Look, I will give you an example. Suppose that we have uh, a piece of cake. Okay? There is a stored chemical energy in this, in this cake. Time. Do you know how we measure? Uh, we know that energy is measured in joules, but also for foods, they are they use also another unit. Do you know what is it? Calorie. Amount of energy in food all always measured in what? In calories. Suppose that this piece of cake has uh, 100 calories. Tayyip, when you eat this cake, this piece of cake, this energy, the chemical energy in the cake transforms, your body transforms this energy into what? Into heat. Okay? So these 100 calories change to heat, but they still 100. Okay, they will not be 200 or 50 hundred or even 99. They will stay the same amount. So energy can change from one form to another, but the total amount of energy is the same. Like the, to the law of conservation of mass. So the law of conservation of energy. Okay, another way, how can you uh, understand the law of conservation of energy? No, no, your temperature increase, yes, but look here, there is a certain amount of energy in the universe, and we cannot make more of it or destroy any that 
already exist. And you can't create any amount of energy. And also you can't uh, destroy any one of it. Okay? The total amount of energy, there are a certain amount of energy on in the universe. You can't create anything else and also you can't destroy anyone, any part of it. Another way to state this idea is to say that energy is conserved. Energy is conserved when one object loses energy, this energy must be gained by another object. Okay? Look, when one object loses energy, this energy is not destroyed. It's not, we don't lost it. We don't lose it. This energy gained by another object. Time. Look here. Samini? Oh, but it's Time. When ice melts, time. What happens when ice melts? It gains in, when, Ah, when ice melts, okay? How the ice melts? It gains but energy. Gain, from where it gains it? From where? From, from outside. From or from sun. surrounding. So in this case, the energy that is lost by the surrounding here, gain, 